See, one thing I learned early in life and still to this day try my best to do is I do everything as unto the Lord. That includes the things that God has called me to do for Him. See, this verse in Colossians reminds me of that. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of your inheritance. For you serve the Lord Christ. See, Colossians 3, 23 and 24 tells us that. See, I'm going through a book study with some of my friends right now. This book is called The Pursuit of Holiness by Jerry Bridges. In this book, he explains how we are to do everything we can, then let God do his part. But we must first do our part. Jerry Bridges says this, A farmer plows his field, sows his seed, and fertilizes and cultivates, all the while knowing that in the final analysis he is utterly dependent on forces outside of himself. He knows he cannot cause the seeds to germinate, nor can he produce the rain and sunshine for growing and harvesting the crop. You see, for a successful harvest, he is dependent on these things from God. Yet the farmer knows that unless he diligently pursues the responsibilities to plow, to plant, fertilize, and cultivate, he cannot expect a harvest at the end of the season. You see, in a sense, he is in partnership with God, and he will reap its benefits only when he has fulfilled his own responsibilities. Farming is a joint venture between God and the farmer. So the farmer cannot do what God must do, and God will not do what the farmer should do. See, we can apply this to just about every aspect of our lives. We must remember to give God our lives and all we have and then let Him do His part. It is so important to remember that God is in control and guiding our steps, but we must first be willing to take those steps. Don't just sit and wait for something to happen. Put your car in drive and see where the Lord wants to lead you. See, this is our part to make our lives available and to do what God has called us to do. We must be doing and planting and fertilizing the things and people He has put in our lives. And remember to do it heartily and with joy. Do everything you do as in the Lord and not men. And we look forward to the inheritance we will receive one day on His return.